Welcome to Stream Tips episode number 5. In this video, we're going to set up a now playing music ticker specifically for Spotify for Windows. Let's get right into it. In my OBS tutorials, I showed how to set up a music scroller using the program Snip. However, due to some updates with Spotify, which is currently my preferred music platform, Snip wasn't working exactly how it should be, but now everything is fixed and I wanted to make an updated video to show anyone that had the same problems that I did how to add Snip back into OBS. While this video tutorial is specifically for those that use Spotify, I do want to mention that Snip works with iTunes, VLC, Winamp, and FUBAR2000. So if you use any of those for your music, this guide will work in a similar way for those programs as well. To start, you'll want to grab the latest release of Snip from the link found in the description of this video, and it should be on the actual video itself as well. Now, under the downloads, you want to grab the top file, which is 5.1.0, and that's at the making of this video, so it might even be updated a little bit more than that when you see this. After the download is complete, you'll need to open up this file and extract its content somewhere on your computer. For me, I'm simply going to open it up using WinRAR, which is a free file extraction program, and then move the SNP folder onto my desktop by dragging and dropping it there. Inside this folder, we'll want to click the application file called SNP, which will begin the program. Now, once the program begins, you should see two new files being created inside the SNP folder. We'll get back to those in just a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up Spotify right now, and I've found no problems yet with the order of programs and how they're started. However, I do want to point out that when you close Spotify, Snip will close as well. So it might be a good idea to add starting Snip to your list of things to do before you go live with your stream. Before we add Snip into OBS, let's take a quick look at how to change some of the settings. So what we want to do is go to our taskbar, which by default is located at the bottom right of your screen. And for me, I need to click the show more area to find snip. I'm using Windows 10, so yours might look a little bit different, but it should all work the same. Now, this little blue circle icon is what we need. Right click it to show the settings, and then we can see that I have Spotify checkmarked. But if you want to use the other programs that I mentioned, you just need to make the switch right here. You can learn a bit more about these settings if you'd like, but what I want to show you is the output format. When we select this, it represents how the track name and artist name will appear in our file and then also on OBS. Basically, it replaces the dollar sign $T with the track name, dollar sign $A with artist name, and dollar sign $L with the album name. Although we don't have to worry about the album name for this guide since it doesn't appear in the output file that we'll be adding into OBS. So what happens is the file will show the track name, the separator, and then the artist name. Let's say, for example, you only want to show the track name. Then you just need to remove what's inside the separator format and the artist format and then hit save. However, I'm going to go ahead and hit defaults to restore the defaults. And then for me, I just want to remove the quotation marks around the track name and then put an extra space after the artist name and then hit save. I add the space after the artist name because without it, they kind of bump up against each other in OBS. So I really recommend doing that as well. So anyways, now that I have my settings how I'd like them, let's go ahead and start a track in Spotify. And then let's open up OBS and first hit preview stream. And now I'm going to create a new text source inside my scene and call it music ticker. I personally don't use global sources for my music ticker because I like to change the font sizes, scroll speeds, and even the width of my ticker in different scenes that I have. What I do want to do though is go ahead and hit use text from file, and then hit browse. Here, I just want to navigate to my SNP folder and select the text document named SNP, which is the file that will be storing all of my song information. You should see your current track playing now appear inside of the OBS preview area. If you're not playing a track, just go ahead and hit play on Spotify now or even change a track to see that uh, everything's working correctly. I can now play around with the type of font that I'll be using for my design and even add an outline to the text if I'd like to. But something that I want to make sure to add is a scroll speed. I prefer to have mine set at about 20, but choose what works best for you. 
The last thing that I want to do in OBS is enable use custom text distance. And this will allow me to add a maximum width to my music scroller since some tracks and artist names are really long and might spill into other areas of your scene design. The first value is the width of the box and the second will be the height. Now I'll set my width to 500 and my height will just be about the same size as my font. I know this might seem a little bit excessive, but these small details are what really makes a difference in your stream setup design. Another quick tip that I want to recommend is that if you want to increase the size of your scroller, make sure to increase the font size inside the text field properties rather than using edit scene and just clicking and dragging and enlarging that way. Uh, you want to make sure then to also for this update your custom text height to match or even slightly exceed your font size. This will ensure that your text is as crisp as it possibly can be and it won't turn up blurry. And I think some streamers don't do this and it's something that kind of affects the design just a little bit. All right, and now we're actually done. We can go ahead and click OK and then we can use edit scene to position the text wherever we like it within our scene. And now I hope that everything's working great and your music scroller is working fine with Spotify and it's added in your OBS and it makes your stream design complete because I know this was something that kind of had a couple of problems when Spotify was updated and it was just kind of an annoying thing to deal with. As always, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this video or even suggestions for a, another episode of Stream Tips. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more from Nerd or Die. Thanks for watching.